All right, let's talk about what you're going to need for the course. For this course, you'll need a working instance of Drupal 8 and a fresh site. Now, I'm going to recommend Acquia's Dev Desktop in the next video, and we'll set that up together. And there's lots of reasons for that. It's simple, it's on your desktop, it's lightning fast. But if you don't want to do that, you'll still need a working instance of Drupal 8. Whether you use MAMP, WAMP, Acquia's Dev Desktop, or out on the internet, you'll need to have that running. You'll also need access to the database. This is the other reason why I'm suggesting Acquia's Dev Desktop. It's just all in one place. You'll need a decent text editor with code highlighting. If you're not already settled into a particular software package, Windows Notepad++ is free. Please, you cannot use Notepad. It adds an invisible .txt to every file extension. And for the Mac, Text Wrangler is excellent and it's free. There's a ton of solutions out there, but both of these are free. You'll also need to download all of the code solutions from the download area. As I mentioned, we're going to install Acquia's Dev Desktop and get it set up in the next video. If you've already got that ready to go, uh, I'll let you know where you can skip ahead to get your site set up. But basically, we're just going to be using a, a plain vanilla Drupal 8 site for this course today. We'll also be using Devel as we go through the course. We'll talk about it at the end of the course significantly, but it's something I really suggest that you get and use for all your project development. Devel has a number of significant commands that we'll use. Dump or print R, Devel generate, some great tricks. When you've got Devel enabled, you can get PHP info. You can use a function called Drupal print message to print variables to the screen, and we'll be using those as well. So Devel is just one of those modules that we absolutely need. Here are some other resources for learning. I'll mention these as we go. The api.drupal.org, the Drupal API with contributed help is at drupalcontrib.org slash api slash drupal slash eight. Drupal answers at stackexchange.com and of course the PHP documentation is really helpful. Please make note of these resources. They can be extremely helpful when you're trying to troubleshoot code. So again, here's how we're going to take our approach today. We'll define the goal and desired outcome of each exercise, discuss the approach, look at some code, use code samples to complete exercises, add stub functions when necessary, test, troubleshoot, and repeat. And of course, those last three steps will do quite a bit. All right, in the next video, we'll get Acquia's Dev Desktop all set up for you.